What's up everybody? Thanks for making it through all the vlogs. This is the last one. I am back in the US and um, I've been back now for about four or five days and uh, it's been kind of rough. Um, the time change really did mess with um, my stomach more than anything. Like it just didn't know when to eat and like digestion was kind of rough. I don't know. I don't know. It, it was, it was tough, <laughs> but it's fine now. I know, uh, your body takes a while to kind of catch up to what you're doing. And, um, but it's nice to be home and my thing be around my things and things that are, uh, everyday normal routine for me. But, um, I do miss Japan, miss the food, uh, miss the people, miss the, just the environment. The vibes were really cool. And just, there was so much to see and everything on my itinerary, I was able to see, uh, but I know there's just so much more that I'll probably have to keep going back. I don't know, the rest of my life to see everything. <laughs> um, but I just want to give you a couple things of advice. If you are going, you're going to need some things. So first one, um, whoops. Get that real quick, hold up. Step out of the frame here for a second. Dropping things. Uh, you'll need a bag. You'll need a big, decent sized bag or even for the ladies, just a purse or men. I recommend an over shoulder bag like this. Uh, it doesn't need to be this big. I take that back. But something to carry around your stuff. I really don't recommend a backpack. Um, because uh, when you get on the train, you're going to have to put it in front of you. That's kind of the thing because uh, the trains are just get so busy and room is so limited. They have to swing it around your chest. Uh, backpack is just kind of uncomfortable even, in, even when you go into diners and things like that. Uh, there's not a lot of room to put backpacks but something around the waist or in front, something you can throw on the floor. Um, you'll need it. I promise you, you will need it. Um, so get something along those lines. Uh, second thing you'll need is like one of these adapters. So Japan does not do the three prong deal like we do in the US. Uh, so you'll need a little two prong like that. I don't know if you can see it. Then it converts back into US three prong and then USB. USB is not as popular as you think out there, uh, especially if you're in an Airbnb, you can forget it because they're not there. Um, I don't know, it, it's not their job to cater to the entire world. So just be mindful, you will need to bring something like this. I assure you, unless you're staying in a hotel um, they will have some USBs, but they will not have um, the three prong deal. So you're going to need this regardless. Get this. <laughs> uh, next thing, you will need a battery pack cell, something small like this that you can haul around in your bag. You will need this. Um, it is not like the US where you can kind of walk in and charge up if you're running low somewhere because again, they don't cater just to USB and things like that. Um, it's there, but not as popular as one would think. Um, so you'll need this. You'll need to carry this around and charge your devices, uh, things like that. So this is a must as well. And the most important thing, a hand towel, believe it or not, this is a Mario one that I got um, later on in the trip. I learned, I saw, and I conquered, you will need a hand towel. Something this small is fine. You can even bring something from home because there's nothing to dry your hands when you use the restroom or anything in Japan. It's odd. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to assume it's because they don't want to waste things like we do here. Uh, it is a bit wasteful here, uh, like paper towels and things like that. Once in a while, you might find a hand dryer like for the air. But not really. A lot of you just go like this and you're on with your day. 
which felt kind of weird. It almost didn't feel clean to me, but I mean, they have soap and things, but you'll need this. Um, this is going to be your lifesaver, I assure you. Um, another thing too, if you plan on doing your trip, I highly recommend very early spring to mid spring and then late, maybe early fall. Either than that, summer, or even if you're pushing towards summer, is gonna suck. It was so hot there. The heat wasn't even the issue because it was like an 80 degree heat, but the humidity was nearly almost 100%. It is awful. You are soiled the moment you walk out of your hotel or wherever you're staying. It's just nonstop. It doesn't, you don't stop sweating even down when you're down in the train station. <laughs> Uh, it was tough. I'm not going to lie. There were some days where it was so hot. I was just ready. I was like, man, I'm going, I'm going back home. This sucks. <laughs> like the heat just doesn't quit. Uh, there was a few days towards the end where it actually rained and it came down, which was amazing just in that. Um, but it's tough. Uh, if you're going to go with like your family or your young kids, um, I don't know. The heat will test your your willpower and your patience, I assure you. Um, so keep that in mind. That That's kind of a big deal. Um, but I get why everybody does travel in the summer. Um, again, that's one of the reasons I did. Uh, it's just because weather is in your favor, as, even though it sucks. Um, but, you know, your flights are generally on time. Everything kind of goes a little more smoothly. Colder weather, winter, storms, uh, you know, you kind of roll the dice, and I, I understand that. But overall, Japan's amazing. Anything your heart desires, it's there. Good food, nice people, amazing scenery, things that I had no idea that even existed with, and that I got to see, like the Lion Buddha was amazing. It's just chiseled in the forest. In the middle of nowhere, jungle, not sure, but it's awesome. The food, the people, like I said, um, the overall experience, it's just a um, very unique place. It was very humbling. Uh, I don't think I could live there full time. I could definitely vacation there for a little while, but it is, it can get tough. You know, you are smashed in. Every little nook and cranny is being used. Um, so that can be kind of hard. There's not a lot of space like there is in the U.S. homes where you can kind of spread out. And you, you know, you got some land. Backyards don't exist out there. <laughs> Just because everything is being used um, to its full potential, which I have a lot of respect for. Um, another, uh, a couple other things, trash, trash is a big hurdle there. Uh, if you don't get, I recommend also getting like a little bag, like a tote bag that folds up real nice that you can carry in, in your bag that I was telling you about that you can open up and put on your shoulder because trash cans are really, really hard to find there. Um, the trick was that I eventually kind of learned was if you buy a convenience store like a Larson's or a 7-Eleven, um, there's usually trash cans in there and you can throw away your uh, bottles and trash and things, and things like that. If not, you're, you're, you're carrying that around for hours. Um, so be mindful of that. Uh, if, you have, if you're taking young kids, maybe, like I said, I know I don't agree with the backpack, you might have to bring a backpack just simply throwing your trash in there because it's just nowhere to be found um so keep that in mind but overall very clean city um the food it didn't hurt my stomach at all usually that was like my big concern like oh man i don't know like seafood this and that not a problem um not a problem till i got home when i got back home and started eating a little bit of u.s food stomach is just 
upset. <laughs> um, but overall, a great experience with the Tokyo Dome. I highly recommend if you can go there, do that. Just simply walking around, you know, not every day needs to be planned. Obviously, have some things in mind. But there's so much to do just around wherever you're staying. It's just endless. And um, I highly recommend you do, do your trip like that a little bit more. Um, it's nothing wrong with planning a few things, but I mean, exploring is just uh, the way to go. Um, I, I can't talk uh, enough about it, just how great it was. Uh, but to leave you with this, one of the hardest things is interaction. I'm not saying the language barrier is uh, the biggest hurdle there, but um, interaction with locals is very limited to none unless you're trying to order food or maybe get directions to somewhere. Um, it's just not there. It was very non-existent. And it was hard, you know. I mean, I had my group, but the only person I talked to outside of my group was a guy I met um, from Reno, Nevada on vacation. <laughs> and he was the only other person I had a conversation with outside my group for two weeks. Um, so that too, um, it's not that... Japanese folks are being rude or anything. It's just not their job to entertain you and they don't go out of their way to, you know, are you having a good time or anything? They're just, you know, they, you're in their world. Um, and it makes sense. But it, it was just hard not to even have a little bit more than just hello and ordering food. So that was kind of hard. Um, but... If that stuff doesn't bother you, then then don't worry about it. It's not that not a deal breaker. And uh, lastly, the train situation can be very overwhelming. You will be taking the train most of your time getting around Japan. I assure you. So be prepared, um, but don't let it deter you from going. It can be a little rough in the beginning, but there are people to help you if you're having a hard time. Um, again, though, you'll need to wave them down and ask uh, for some help. But thank you so much for walking. Walking. I can talk, I swear. Watching all the vlogs. I appreciate it. It was fun. Go to Japan. Have a good time. I'm definitely going back more and more as much as I can just because it, it's a great place. It's safe. It's clean. I don't worry about anything. None of my stuff being stolen. All I hear is awful trips in other parts of the world, no offense to those parts, but, you know, I'm going to go somewhere where I don't have to worry about getting my stuff stolen. <laughs> but with that being said, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And, um, you know, I, I hope you guys like these vlogs. And uh, thanks again.